what is going on, buddy? Hello. It is Pixel Brothers here, and welcome back to Ghost Trick Fan with Detective. When we left off, the up end submarine continues to sink slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> Under the sea. All right. Whoa. And then there's this. Yeah. When the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them, at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. That's insane. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? It kind of looks like a lamp. <laughs> Eek! Oh, well. Well. I... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we have our answer is the manipulator. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I see you managed to survive, detective. Hey, you're... Excuse my appearance. I seem to have lost my body. <laughs> so I made a new one. <laughs> oh, and you there? You're the ghost has been saving Lynn all evening, aren't you? Did you know about me all along? Of course, what else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you've decided to save us all of a sudden? Thought you wanted to get revenge on us. <sighs> I don't really know. <laughs> Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who am Who I? Who am I? <laughs> Whoa. Who in the world are you? And who am I? Sisa, look at you! What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are? That's right. Came all this way tonight, trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit tonight, I thought it was you, Sissel. I thought I was you. <laughs> Sissel. My name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember really soon. Who you are, and who I am too. Uh, what? But they keep calling you Cecil. Yeah, what? The <laughs> man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind, a memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. Whoa. To the edge. Stop. <laughs> And he's about to break. <laughs> At any moment, it looks like. Well, then. <sighs> they got us good. It's all over for the submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the hull. And it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Temsek Fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, that meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. Oh boy. Let's talk about power. It's about drive, it's about power. <laughs> These 10 years. I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research. And I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. Apparently there are individual, individual differences in the powers we get. It seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah, my powers have changed over these past 10 years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Hmm. Like missile. <laughs> now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what does it? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day ten years ago. Ha! 
Plunge it. <laughs> the same way. <laughs> a fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart, and I died. So, of course, I received special powers. Why did he have a plunger? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers, too? You know, you might be right. He died right under the rock, like yeah, you said. right there. <laughs> yeah. How convenient. <laughs> Thanks, dude. And then... Oh. <laughs> oh. Puppy. But hey, at least you got to live on through the meteorites. <laughs> yeah. Aren't the Tempsic remnants right there in that park at the bottom of the crater? You're right. Does that must mean... I must have died in the presence of the meteorites' radiation, too. That changes things. The radiation's time effect. Another effect the meteorite's radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death mm. is another effect of that meteorite? One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death. Uh, this is all so strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. Well, you don't have much time, so take everything <laughs> you can. It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. We know, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, strange and confusing. That just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. Hold it! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Contradictory existence. That day, the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside of me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. Mm. In other words, my body was continuously psyching between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital functions stopped 10 years ago, but my body's time is virtually stopped at the moment just before death. Hmm. Time... Just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed. Not really alive and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me, ever since that incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. Yeah, because it fixed it immediately. Yeah. So I guess as soon as an incision was made, his body would be regenerated. Wow. How's your revenge going? And your whole reason for it. <laughs> Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the ex execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why he wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know, they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everything, everybody who had to do with Temsek. Mm. Detective Jowd was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanel and that junkyard super, they were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out, <laughs> oh. that includes you. <laughs> I was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Tempsic fragment, and here I am. Well then. But they had one more final target. What? You, detective. Me? I mean, she was there at the park. Yeah. Even if she didn't know what was going on, or maybe there's more to it that we don't know. Has Lynn been affected by this meteorite at all? That's right, because they've been trying to kill her this whole time. <laughs> yeah. If you weren't there in the park that day 10 years ago... Ah, so it is just because yeah. you just pulled in there. Well, no, because there's... I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Okay, but I was just a little kid playing in the park. Were you? 
Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, and you become a detective looking into Jowd's case. Tonight, I invite you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. There was a trap, you see. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. Hmm. That's just the way it works. Yeah. Hold up a cool man. It's so I cool took possession of you to make you shoot me. He just leaned up so the body yeah. can go limp a little bit. It's like, oh. That's why he didn't dodge. Because he was in yeah. the gun. And yeah, there's yeah. the shaking. You subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It was the first time I was unable to control somebody completely. Oh, wait, yeah, she missed at first. The aim was off, and the first shot missed the mark. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I need to be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. But then this fucking guy. <laughs> but they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then... Something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. <laughs> Us. <laughs> I showed up. Mm -hmm. But who are we? <laughs> yeah, I'd really like to know that. I was supposed to meet up with them after that. But then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> the inspector and what was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. That inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Temsec meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jowd case. Mm. I thought you would find out about Temsec sooner or later. That's a fair one. Oh, you see, he could be Ray because he's like, "Hey, you, you're, you're gonna be gone by the end of the night. You gotta, you have stuff to do. Go do stuff right now." You know, like. Yeah. I don't know though. I Let's see know. what happens. And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush the submarine. Oh no. There are no cores that link from here to the water surface. <laughs> I have an idea. We hook up the phone line and... There are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for the submarine to be my coffin. The coffin for the dead. There's no escape. Well then. That's depressing. This whole thing is a little too timely for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these ten years. You what? This feeling, cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine, sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Huh. Oh. Oh, hey, way to wake up at a bad time. <laughs> You're gonna die. When? Camilla! Is it true? We're stuck here? What? Oh, uh... <laughs> Who's the big robot man? <laughs> if my dad... If my dad was here, I'd bet he'd save us. <laughs> oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry! Huh. That's funny. What is it, Sizzle? Something I don't understand. Why would they go to all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temsic fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Huh. That's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! 
Yes, we do. Uh, I have a tracking device. This will tell us where Detective Jowd is. That present from the inspector in white. That's right. Detective Jowd told me to hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in this person's body in the command room, right? And we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. But, 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 if we can find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us with our powers, right, Miss Lynn? Right. Oh, and wait a minute. What about a torpedo? A torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. I... Hmm, looks Detective Jowd is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. I mean, the thought crossed my mind, but I wasn't sure how to do it because I was like, well, no, because this, this submarine isn't shaped the same as the torpedo. Because, mm. like, if we could fire the torpedo and then switch with that, we'd have the momentum of the torpedo pushing us upward. Yeah. As far as that momentum of a torpedo could carry us. It even has, I just noticed it even has the little zigzag on the top. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hair would be. All right, let's, uh. Also,. This guy never told us what his name is, still. No. And if... if Can't talk to him or anything, Why did they keep calling him Sissel if that's not his name? It's all we know ourselves as. But uh, what do you think? We know ourselves as because of the, the blue man group. That's what yeah. I so his shell is definitely there in the command room, right? Just without the fragment? It's there, yeah, but I don't know about calling it a shell. Detective Jowd's watch will tell us exactly where it is. Right, he said it was a radio receiver, didn't he? There might still be another torpedo on this submarine. There is. If we use it, we can get to Detective Jowd. It's a brilliant plan, Detective. You think so? <laughs> so what are you going to do? Ride to the top of the torpedo? Ride the top of it? Of course not. You guys are going to go. Darn, I kind of wanted to see that. <laughs> Did you want to see me drown? <laughs> Jeez. Yes. Wait, I don't know why I talked to you again. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. I wanted to try and... Can't hop in the thing, so I guess I'll... If she drowns, uh... we would have to save her again, so... Yeah. <laughs> so my dad isn't here on the submarine. Don't worry. We're going to get him right now. Okay. I hope I didn't hurt Lynn's feelings. What I said about my dad saving us if he was here. Oh, don't worry about that. Comments like that just roll right off Miss Lynn's back. She's really thick-skinned. Ouch. <laughs> I'm going to start being tougher, too. I want to make my dad proud of me. M Miss Camilla. I'm sure your dad is very proud of you, Camilla. Oh, you're something special. Can I operate the control panel? Uh, oh, oh, that'll definitely do. Grapes. <laughs> the grapes. Well, then. Oh, my God. I guess oh, it's I use that out. to get up here. It's probably weak. Yeah. Probably going to drop them soon. It's like, uh, uh, oh, oh, that's so sad. Why is the machine shoving grapes at me? <laughs> well, this looks like the private cabin of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Oh, it sounds heavenly. I'm thinking about this for a while now. Dogs can't have grapes. It's interesting that <laughs> the country's Dogs use of technology grapes. is just a little off. Because he got made a deal with said country. Anyway... Looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Well, I'm going to use the phone because that's all I can do right now. Head to the torpedo room. The torpedo room, huh? Might be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. You're going to use a missile to ram the control room. Well, I don't know about ram. I don't want to blow up Detective Jowd up, but something like that. We'll climb up to the torpedo room, too. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. I'm sure he's gonna make just a monstrosity of a ladder that you can climb up. <sighs> it's fine. Oh, hey, everyone's here. Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it in the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. <laughs> I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. Are we gonna blow your dad up? <laughs> nah. I know we can stop it beforehand. And I just turn on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck. Trick time. We don't know anything about Lynn's parents, I just realized. No, we don't. <laughs> Where are your parents, oh, we have Lynn? A missile there. 
Like, I know um, you're a grown woman, but where are your parents? <laughs> that, that's a great question. Um, oh, I can't use missile right now. So let me try to lower this, and this is the one that gets stuck. Not much. Maybe it's broken? I don't think the entire device is broken, though. It would probably work just fine if only I could move the switch. Hmm. So find a way for it to... Find a way to move it somehow. Can't do it with my powers alone. Can I switch into... M m m m missile? I'd love to do that. Because right. Then I could, like, switch the levers technically, but... I can't do anything from here. Maybe I can talk to Lynn and tell her to change it. How's it going there? Just count. I'm just calculating the command room's coordinates now. I have to put in a slight offset, though. I don't want to blow it up. I'm sure Detective Jai would appreciate that. Well, leave this to me. Good luck with loading the missile. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Something you could fucking. <laughs> I'm Lily, but uh, you. Yeah, and you can't missile. What will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? There's no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength, Missile? Me? Of course I will. Count on it. Who would have thought Missile would become the co-main character in this whole fucking game? <laughs> All right, switch these two, because maybe now I can move it. Sweet. Now if I go over here, because this one I was able to pull before, so... Where's we go. not Sissel? Did he just stay down there? I'm going to assume so, because he didn't come with us. Yeah. There we go. That's that pretty look serviceable. All set on this end, too. But something's odd. What is? The command room. Looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right. Okay, hop onto the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. There better not be anyone dead in there. <laughs> but that's kind of the name of the game. Yep. I've already set the torpedo's course. It'll head toward the command room where Detective Jout is. 12 seconds after launching, it'll pass the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. Then we'll find a way to come back and save you. Probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Oh boy. Okay, come on, Missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry. I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it. Missile. I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Missile. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. Oh, boy. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn! You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen. And that's our only hope. But what if something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never ever again. Even I can understand that. I I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla! I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Miss Camilla! <laughs> oh. Immediately. <laughs> That's a good boy, Missile. Oh, such a good boy. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw this switch. We're ready. One, <laughs> two, wait, what's 12 again? I don't remember math. Sissel? Yes? We never found out who you really were, but that doesn't matter now. All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I met you, Detective. But we're going to see each other again, right, Sissy? Right, Missile? Eh, we're both supposed to die at sunrise, so <laughs> that's right. We promise, little lady. Of course I will! I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Uh, this missile might be fucking immortal. I don't get that luck. <laughs> Here goes then. Good luck, friend. Schwa! Come on now. <sighs> Kablooey! 
Ready for the lift off. T minus eight, seven, Ooh. four, one. There we go. Oh boy. These 12 <laughs> seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. And how can a ray of light, of hope, reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. Oh boy. No pressure. Oh, chat, chat, chat. Cool. Cause like, they didn't have you do it. Can you imagine having to like redo that? Oh God. <laughs> over and over till you get it. He's just taking a nap, right? Right. Take a job. I bet that big masked man did this. Not me. I'm gonna bite him. <laughs> you better not. You might break your teeth. Commander has lost power and is sinking. I wonder what this masked man is going to do. <laughs> Let's talk to Detective Dowd. Dowd. Aw, oh, shit. Nah. What about my body? Oh, well. Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. But who are you? Are you Sissel? Oh, yeah. Please excuse my appearance. Can't believe you made it here. How's Camilla? And what about Lynn? Well, it's kind of a long story. I told Detective Dowd about everything that happened on the submarine. You will know. So somebody was badly damaged. Why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. Oh. No. Eh. Uh, you came along? God damn, how'd you It's because he's afraid of my powers. <laughs> Get you! You followed us? I didn't even notice. <sighs> it's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Huh. <laughs> Are you Yomiel? Yomiel. That's a name. Yomiel! <laughs> so you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? Is that your real name, huh? Yomio? That's right. But those people on the Yonio were calling you Sissel. It's just an alias I was using for a deal with them. Huh. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my trade identity <laughs> all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, right, Detective Jowd? Right. Ah, uh, Yomio. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? <laughs> By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. Hmm. It was to build a new system using multidimensional programming theory. Multidimensional? God bless you. I was asked to join the project <laughs> by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. But someone pulled you into something, huh? Mm. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. Hmm. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. Yeah. Never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then one day the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. Mm. I was the guy who built the core of the system. Core. <laughs> Police arrested you and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lynn as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jowd, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months <laughs> after your death. Wow. I'm so sorry, Yomio. That's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Ten years ago. That whole thing. Ow. God. I mean, at least since it was right to the heart, it was probably instant. <laughs> My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in this world, no question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. It's like I was a ghost or some kind of <laughs> trick. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. 
Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. <laughs> God, yeah, 10 fucking years alone. <laughs> I wanted to disappear, but I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. Let's make a deal! The deal. There's just something I don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? A new life! Uh. Life. I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth. A new beginning, huh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul. A name, an identity. An everyday life. That's fair. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. No. And finally... I wanted to die, surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. He just wanted a normal life. Just start over. A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. And their response in the end was betrayal. Damn. They are making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And... They even figured out what Temsic was all about. And you had no idea they were doing all this? None at all. I was a fool. So then... Why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal the hunk of a Temsic meteorite from the park? Yeah. They couldn't. After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, I mean, it's something I haven't really mentioned or really thought about, but I don't think you can touch the stuff. Notice how every time someone's done anything with it, oh. it's been in a capsule, moved by arms, or in someone that's <laughs> dead. By Inspector Cabanella and the old pigeon guy, huh? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put, a par put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, huh? Just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there at all times. Oh! Are you one? Wait. Are you? Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. Okay. No, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's classic comedy. <laughs> <sighs> that park is like a silent battlefield on an international <sighs> scale. That's why they couldn't steal the Temsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing no, site. No, it's just protected. Okay. <laughs> they've been working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure the Temsic meteorite. Hmm. So that's it, huh? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, huh? Yeah, it's the only thing I deserve. At least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've made just seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. <laughs> what? What good will that do now? But we promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them! Oh, bugger off! We can't do that <laughs> without you, Detective Jowd. Uh, why, why? 
I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. All right, fine. Let's see where it leads us. I like this out more than Yomil. Here we go then, back to four minutes before your death. Sissel is almost missile, and we go together like peanut Sissel butter missile. and jelly. Smissel. Peanut our, butter is very good. Is our team name? Are you the Are you the peanut butter or the jelly? Peanut butter. Yeah, if I could turn back time. <laughs> if I could find a way. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I had to. <sighs> so, where are we headed? We're not headed anywhere, detective. What? There's only a fuel on board to launch us away, Detective. We'll run out soon and that will be our destination, Detective. He's saying Detective instead of <laughs> Sir now. Yeah. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. I'm a robot. I... By the way, I'm not human, <laughs> Detective. Did you call that? Or... Huh. Why'd, why'd you say I'm a robot and then it was true? How, did you know this? Or was that I, just... That, that, was, that was a bit. But it turned but out to be true. It turned out to be true. I think all of the blue people are robots huh. with souls in them. And so I think that's why our... But it says remote controlled. Not ah. souls in them. So that is incorrect. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Remote controlled by souls. What? No, that's not how remote control works. <laughs> Your country's use of technology is just playing off. We get that a lot, detective. It's because you're aliens. I'm calling it. They're just, just stop. <laughs> Why would you go to all this trouble to do this? It's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Seth likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, detective. Possibility. What are you talking about? There's only for you to know, Detective. Oh! Wow. Now it is time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems. Detective. Ah! Camilla. Forgive me. Damn. <laughs> All right. That's rough. It isn't over yet. <sighs> it isn't? Remember what that big masked man said? <laughs> Any possibility, no matter how small. Like me? I'm small. I think we've got to do something. What do we have to do? And now the question is, is it going to work now? And if so, Where's it going to take us to? What? There's only one destination. Only one thing in this room that we can truly reach in this very moment. And that's the body. Mm. Are we going back 10 years in time? Possibility. I did have that thought earlier on. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning this situation around. During the last part, I had that thought, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> Even he's just like, mm, <laughs> what are you doing? It's not my body. I was told by Ray that I couldn't do it because it was my body, but. Huh? What is it, detective? Look at Yomi's shell. There's no ore emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Temsec -like fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell? Give us some kind of lead? <laughs> well. I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is they were afraid of. What is it? <laughs> My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Temsek. His body cycled between the moments that separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. Tempsic fragment has been taken away. Exactly. Oh, so what does that mean? His death was when the Tempsic fragment was taken out of him. Ah, I get it. Yeah. Your body won't come back to life anymore. 
The moment the Temsek fragment was removed, my shell became yep. a regular corpse. That was him dying. So per let's se. see. That means we can go back? Back to four minutes before your death? But wait a minute. Exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out. When we get there, let's move. That's true. It could be either when oh, the meteorite was taken God. out, or oh, God. it could be 10 years ago. It's tense music. <laughs> it's yeah, literally turn either back one. Time. It's literally either one. <laughs> this is going to be a real big fucking block. <laughs> Which one is it going to be? For Yomil's sake, I oh, hope boy. it's... Oh, boy. This is, this is intense. It changed it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. 10 years ago, baby. <laughs> I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever. And I saw it. The final death. At the long end of this night. At the end of this long night. <laughs> Who exactly am I? I've already seen all of the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. Or is it going to be an entirely different scene? It's going to be a new chapter. Uh, oh, boy. It's 5.42 a.m. Wow. <laughs> we are really pushing it. But now it's about to be way fucking different. Huh? <laughs> a little illustration there to save our current place and time. Well, you oh know what? Oh, my God. I believe there is only one chapter left. Ooh. So I think it is time to complete <laughs> this fucking journey this gem of a game <laughs> and understand everything that's come to pass <laughs> next time oh boy oh we're about to be in for a fucking trip dude we still don't know who we are well like i said we're gonna find out ev ev we're all, we're all the pieces are falling into place yeah we're gonna find out we've been ray the entire time okay <laughs> that how that how no that's not how that works <laughs>